Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Physio Trends. This is the Physio Quest series and I am going to discuss the answers for this week questions. So okay, this week questions were uh, quite uh, we can say at the difficulty le level and it was like slight confusing because uh, most of the answers were like almost almost similar. So let's see what is there in the first question and what information we have got and what can be the correct answer. So first question was question number 22 and the information what we have received is the computer tomography reveals that a patient admitted to the hospital two days ago sustained a stroke involving the left middle cerebral artery. So based on the identified area of involvement, the patient would most likely demonstrate the following signs and symptoms except option A, apraxia, option B, aphasia, option C, right hemiparesis and option D, neglect. Now my dear friends, this all the options can be present in stroke patient. Okay, so that is why it is real confusing. Now. To answer this question accurately, we should know what happens, what area is basically affected by the middle cerebral artery. So mainly when we see the anatomy of middle cerebral artery, we see that it mainly affects a part of parietal, temporal and a part of frontal lobe. So basically it is like this, this side, like any side, whenever, whichever the side it is affected, it is affecting your temporal, parietal as well as the slight of the frontal lobe. So whatever the areas are covered by those uh, particular part. Uh, supplied by the middle cerebral artery can be affected in this particular stroke and if we see the options over here apraxia aphasia right hemiparesis neglect now right hemiparesis obviously we will eliminate because clearly it is shown that left side of the middle cerebral artery is affected so contralateral side there will be hemiparesis so right is hemiparesis so that option is removed aphasia Aphasia is because of let's say Broca's area is affected which is exactly situated over your parietal and temporal lobe. So that is why again this area also affected so Broca's aphasia or Wernicke's aphasia can be present so that is why that option also eliminated. Now let's say apraxia so apraxia basically also happens because whenever there is brain injury or trauma or let's say affected parts are parietal lobe, temporal lobe or the frontal lobe. So again, that is also the part supplied by the middle cerebral artery. So that is why I will say that apraxia also can be present in this patient. If you want to know more about the ideational or ideomotor apraxia, you can find it from this link. Now the only option which is left for us is neglect. Now neglect also is a condition in which uh, takes place in the uh, stroke patients in which a uh, patient uh, is actually neglecting the side of the affected side of the body. And uh, this also occurs because of the affected part in the cerebral cortex which is around the parietal or the frontal area. But according to researches, it is said that the instead of left side of the hemiparesis or left side of the middle cerebral artery affected, most of the patient with the right side of the hemisphere affected gets the neglect. So just because in question the information given to us is that left middle cerebral artery is affected, here the neglect option will be exceptional that this symptoms is not going to present for this patient. So the correct answer over here is option D which is neglect. Okay, now moving forward to the next question asked in this week was question number 23 and that's this question was more about the cardio respiratory related and the question says that a patient who has received a heart transplant is undergoing cardiac rehabilitation with a physical therapist. So which of the following descriptions best represents the cardiovascular effects that occurs when this person begins to exercise? Option number A, no initial change in heart rate followed by a gradual increase after several minutes. Option number B, immediate increase in the heart rate that gradually stabilizes after several minutes. Option C, no initial change in the heart rate followed by a gradual decrease after several minutes. And option D, immediate decrease in heart rate that gradually stabilize after the several minutes. Now guys, we know that heart transplant is a very, we can say rare condition. 
okay and uh, heart transplant basically is done to overcome all the heart diseases what patient has come across so basically it is going to increase the lifespan of the patient okay but we cannot say the quality of the life is going to be improved so what information what we have received in this question is that recently patient has undergone cardiac transplant and we are starting with the cardiac rehabilitation so what will be the response that we can expect from the patient's heart so here before uh, discussing about the answer first we should know about what happens in the heart transplant and uh, what normal response of the patient is in during the after the heart transplant so basically we know that uh, during the heart transplant we actually are cutting off all the nerve supply to the heart okay so basically there will be total denervation denervation of the heart that is why whenever the patient is at rest also there will be a like a slight increase in the heart rate of the patient which is somewhere around 100 to 110 so that is a normal response for the patient now the in the question what is asked is like what will happen when patient initiates an exercise in the cardiac rehabilitation normally when we begin exercise or before beginning the exercise already our somatic uh, system tells us that now you are going to exercise so your heart rate automatically starts increasing because the nerve supply is intact but here in cardiac transplant that nerve supply is not intact so that is why initially when you begin to exercise that anticipatory reaction is not going to be present so that is why initially there will be no change in the, in the heart rate and then slowly gradually when you are performing the exercise continuously you will see a slight increase in the heart rate because of the response to the exercise and so that is why my dear friends option A which says that no initial change in the heart rate followed by gradual increase after several minutes is going to be the right answer correct answer for this question so i hope you have understood the answers and the questions and all the reasoning about it and still if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section and once again thank you so much for being there on the physio quest series and enjoying the questions and also making me think more to put more and more questions in the physio quest series thank you so much